Okay, so moving on to our fourth strategy for uh, strategies to solve limits, uh, change a variable. Now, this strategy, in, uh, in my opinion, is definitely the toughest one out of all of them. Uh, it's, a little, it's a little unique and it's a little different and there's a lot of steps. So you really gotta pay attention and uh, you gotta get as much practice as you can with this kind of strategy because uh, it's pretty much guaranteed to show up on your test. And the way to know when to use this strategy, you use it for, I'm just gonna call them weird exponential or radical expressions. Couldn't think of a better word, so I just use the so I just use weird. So what I mean by weird is when you see things like x to the power of one over six, x to the power of one over three, maybe you'll have something like um, the root of x cubed, okay, which we could also rewrite as x to the power of three to the power of one half, which would be x to the power of three over two. Okay, if you if you see if you see something like this in uh, in the limit that you're solving, then uh, you can uh, be pretty sure that you're going to be using uh, the change of variable strategy. Another part you're going to have to remember for um, the change of variable strategy is um, is uh, how to factor a sum and difference of cubes. So that's a review from advanced functions. So let's quickly go over that sum difference of cubes. So um, if you have a sum, a cubed plus b cubed, that's just equal to a plus b, a squared minus a b plus b squared. So uh, for example, if, uh, if you're given something like x cubed plus 27, well, you know that your a value is the uh, third root of x, which is just x, or the third root of x cubed, which is just x. And then your b value is just the third root of 27, which is three. So then plugging these uh, into our formula here, so x cubed plus 27 would equal uh, our a value is x, our b value is 3. a squared is the same as x squared minus a times b is 3x. And then uh, b squared is 3 squared, which is 9. And then a, uh, the um, difference of cubes formula is a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b, a squared plus a b plus b squared and uh, let's say you're given something like uh, 8 minus x cubed. So in this case our a value is the third root of 8 which is 2. Our b value is the third root of x cubed which is x. So plugging these into our formula we get uh, a is 2 minus b is x 2 minus x, a is 2, so 2 squared is 4, plus 2 times x is 2x, plus b squared, which is x squared. So this difference of cube factors like this, and this sum of cube factors like that. You're going to be running into uh, a lot of sum and difference of cubes in the change of variable strategy. So uh, make sure that you're comfortable doing these. Uh, if you're not, then I would go back to advanced functions and, uh, and do a couple of these.